Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. What an exciting week last week was as uh, Christian and I and uh, my friend John and Tom made our journey to York and we arrived on uh, Monday night. So we were able to attend the Wyndham parking lot show, the firehouse show, the Four Points show, um, two days. And then we also did some sightseeing so I got, we visited the Rockville Bridge, the Pennsylvania Station, Steamtown, uh, Horseshoe Curve. Um, missing anything? Mm, I don't think so. So we got to see a lot of sites while we were there. And one of the greatest things about the whole York trip was meeting people face to face that uh, watched the channel. And, you know, often we chat through comments. Some we've become friends through Facebook and chat back and forth through Messenger or call or exchange phone numbers and phone call and text. Um, but it was great to really put, you know, the, the face, the handshake with the names, you know. And, um, you know, so William, Bill, Raphael, Jonathan, Darren, Ben, um, Gary... Greg, Ron, uh, Zane, which I've met before because I see him at York now every year. Then um, a couple Chris's, Chris, and then also PGH Trains. And um, man, am I leaving anyone out? William, Jim, Bill, Alan, Alex. Um, man, just so many people. And it was great to chat with everybody. Uh, Jay Bird, you know, it was awesome. Thank you for sharing the information about the Frenchies. Uh, Christy's actually got the camera right now. She's a Frenchie fan of the house. I am too. So we'll, we'll be looking up your breeder. So thank you for sharing that information. And, uh, you know, taking the time to chat. Um, so I hope I didn't miss anyone. I, I, I don't think that I did. Uh, Bill, Dave. <laughs> just thank you everyone I'm trying to remember everybody with so many people is amazing so um, you know let's talk about what we were able to find at York this year so thank you Christy for being our camera person for a second so we're just gonna start left to right so uh, this MTH Premier work train, Pennsylvania uh, freight set. This has been a, a set I've wanted for a while. We have the other version of it. Um, I love getting the MTH six car Premier passenger sets because they're a great value. And, you know, I'm gonna give a shout out to Keith at Chuck's Train Room. Um, cause he was the first table, the first show we went to on Tuesday. Um, we're not there 20 minutes and we already have a car full of stuff between Tom and I. So, and Christian, Christian picked out some stuff. So we picked up this, uh, six car Pennsylvania freight set from him. Then we got the electromotive five car passenger set with, the add-on two pack and the uh, Vista Dome brand new in box. Then we also got the Texas Special with the two car add-on and the Vista Dome brand new in box from him. Then several uh, Atlas cars. So some Santa Fe hoppers, you know I'm a big fan of Atlas. Then um, a Northwestern Woodside Reefer, um, Great Northern PS1 boxcar. This is a pretty big boxcar too. We don't usually buy ones this big. There goes Mr. Duck, who I bought for Christy to put in her Jeep. And we got that at Steamtown. Let me grab them. Whoops. So there's, you know, the duck thing that Jeeps, you know, Jeeps give, Jeep people give to other Jeep people on their windshield wiper to door handle. And I thought this would be an awesome one. We got that at Steamtown to give to Christy for her Jeep. So 
Um, then I got a Chesapeake in Ohio, uh, double door box car. That's a beauty too. See if I can do it without knocking something down this time. So that's a good looking car also. C&O, B&O, that's in our Santa Fe, Great Northern, all in our roundhouse. Um, we have downsized a lot. And I'm sorry, I didn't get beyond video five uh, of downsizing pre-York train sales because things just went so well. Uh, I was so busy trying to get ready for York and trying to build a Halloween layout and ship stuff and get ready to take stuff to York to deliver to people and everyone picked it all up that we didn't even get to make it through video six through 10. So we'll be switching back to the Halloween layout build after this. Um, then in the parking lot show at the Wyndham, someone had Z scale trains and I went, I, I didn't foresee getting Z scale trains at York at all. And Tom bought his first Z scale stuff and, um, I went totally nuts because he gave me a really good deal. Um, you know, we have these electric, we have a little diesel, um, a 464, a 2102, another electric, a crocodile, another electric. That one, that one and that one are actually Christians that he picked. Then we have some cool, you know, 462 with three passenger cars, an electric with three passenger cars. We got another electric, um, 260, then another electric with passenger cars, a work train. This is really cool. And yeah, this is all European stuff. But as I've said before, I'm not limited. I love all kinds of trains. So, um, you know, I, my mom bought me a puzzle and it has like a hundred of the uh, best, I guess, uh, steam locomotives throughout history. And a lot of them are from Europe, um, not just America. So I found interest in European trains because of that. This one is really cool. This is a Porsche electric. And then I found the, uh, collector series, Boxcar set that has Bugatti, Lotus, Maserati, Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Aston Martin. So that will go with these. Um, so, and then I did find a Zeppelin, and the propeller really spins. And this was an actual train, uh, a locomotive to carry passengers, um, fan driven. So that engine is actually super neat. I'll have to do a run of that sometime. Then had a couple others here. All right, so back to uh, the hall. So on the way to York, we stopped at Pat's Trains and he had this 2010 uh, ES44 AC diesel engine G GE hybrid evolution and the boxcar says Royal King, but it's actually a scale boxcar. And they just uh, put it in a Royal King style, style box. Um, then at York, I was able to find the streamlined RPO car for it. It's the laboratory car that, you know, this is actually out of the set, out of an earlier run. And this was a more recent run of the locomotive. And there's another cab number two. Um, I think it's 2012 or 2015. Um, so that is a beautiful locomotive. Then we found um, a couple Virginian cars and we got a really good deal because the guy said he's been carrying them around for some time. Those are like 20 bucks a piece. Those were in the White Hall. Then Christian got a Chase Elliott NASCAR. Then this was one of my favorite finds. So I sold my Lionel Legacy yellow bonnets because I just really didn't like the color. I was expecting them to be more like the MTH that are more elusive to find, the dealer appreciations. So here are the dealer appreciation MTH yellow bonnets. 
and they are just beautiful. Um, love the color of the yellow. It's not too pale. It has a little bit of orange to it. Um, and I like that all the handrails actually match on the cars. Uh, that was a big thing that bothered me. And the spacing on these will be correct. So the diaphragms will line up. Um, where on like the last run of the Lionel, because of all the electrocouplers, um, similar on MTH, when there's an electrocoupler, the gap is bigger. And I don't really care about the electrocoupler. I only need one just on whatever the tail engine is. So um, I was really pleased to find these. And thank you. These came from Vince's Trains, and he gave me a pretty good deal on these. So he had a lot of stuff. And I will say this. MTH was selling like crazy in third rail. Because um, everything that I looked at my first day on Thursday in MTH. And then Tom looked at when we went back on Saturday, a lot of it was already gone. And um, it was selling like crazy. Like some KCS engines at Vince's Trains. Um, a plated BL1 set, uh, some Milwaukee electrics, um, you know, that was a story throughout, like a Santa Fe third rail, a third rail, um, E5, Chicago and Northwestern, um, uh, there was a Santa Fe E5 that sold in third rail, just everything third rail and MTH was just like going fast, it was crazy. Um, so anyway, there's a box for these dealer appreciations. Then, thank you. So, Eric from Eric's Trains was, uh, buying a couple of DM and IR MTH Proto 3 diesels when my friend Tom and I were in the booth at the same time. And, you know, we talked to Steve at Mr. Muffin's Trains and... I was able to get the other, I, you, you saw my War Bonds version of this one. This is the latest release um, of the T1 steam engine. And then Tom bought the Pennsylvania with the steaming whistle. And thank you. I mean, he gave us a sweet deal for getting both engines. And um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, and... Uh, you know, it's not expected, but it is nice when people do give you a little bit of price break on stuff. Because um, the stuff is really expensive and, you know, I buy a lot. So, Steve, I will buy, be buying more MTH trains from you. And I do like the DM and IR atlases you had there, um, as well as a couple of the Genset MTHs. So, I will be calling you, sir. All right. So then from William, Christian got, we saw him last year. Christian got this uh, SD70 UP, cabinet 4526. This is a Proto-2 with a 3-volt board in it. The flag is exceptional on this one. Um, the detail on it is really good. And it's a beautiful engine. I can't wait to get it on the track and run it. And I'm sure Christian can't wait either. Um... So thank you. Then, you know, the York train show, you have the largest selection, unless you walk in a store, of like hobbying stuff. So at B&B &B Hobby Supplies, I was able to pick up um, the magnifying lamp, a new cutting uh, mat for, you know, I'm working on things and cutting, you're not cutting into your top of your toolbox or table. Um, we picked up some VCRs, uh, some oil, just tip and some precision screwdrivers because we were actually running our train sets. I bought this train set at the same guy in the parking lot sale, Marklin. So Tom had a train set set up around his TV in his room and I had this one set up in my room. And uh, we were getting all the engines going. So all the engines were brand new in box. And some of them, like O-Scale, they get binded up because they've just sat forever and were never run. So that's why we bought the oil and the precision screwdrivers 
uh, to work on them and get them all running. All right, so let's move back here. This is Christian's stack. He got a Burlington caboose, then he found a Southern Pacific Railroad caboose. Sometimes he picks out some of the stuff that I'm just like, man, um, cool. Like, I wouldn't have thought of getting those. Uh, we haven't been buying a lot of just Burlington. We do Santa Fe, obviously, and BNSF, but not a lot of just Burlington. And I do know where a set of these F3s are that would go with that caboose. I just need to go talk the guy out of selling them to me. Because uh, I know he's getting rid of his collection. Then he picked out a Denver Rio Grande. Modern, well, not exactly modern style boxcar, but it's not Steam era. Um, we don't have anything to really run that with. We'll just have to stick it in a, a train with like some Santa Fe's or something. Then... Christian, this came from Chuck's Trains also. Um, so he saw that North Northwestern tanker, and he had to have the whole set. And Rock Island goes with us too. So um, thank you for giving Christian a deal on this. He got it for like 60 bucks. Um, it's brand new in box. And then he found this other Northwestern line um, tanker. So he's a happy camper. Then, you know, we picked up some random rolling stock. So the B&O Chessie. Um, a B&O hopper car. Another smaller hopper. Then we found a Norfolk and Western caboose to go with our Class A. Um... I'll say this, there were a lot of Lionel stuff sitting there. Um, a lot of the, uh, what are they, Camelbacks, a lot of Class A's. I saw several of the new Vision Line Challengers. Um, I saw a lot of the new, like, E8s. Um, so there was Lionel stuff there. And, you know, it's just super pricey these days. Um, there's uh, some dealers that are really gouging people. Um on some pricing on Lionel engines. That's probably why they were still there when I left. They didn't sell. So, um, you know, things like uh, Legacy, um, CNO, Allegheny style engine, like $2,000. Um, there was a red. Um, Mohawk for like two thousand. Um, several engines, two to three thousand dollars. Like even the old nine thousand six big boy, someone was trying to get fifteen hundred out of. I can find those in St. Louis all day long for like eight hundred bucks um, for brand new in box and cheaper if they're run. So it's just right now prices on some trains are still super outrageous. Um, just buyer beware. Because if it's ever something you decide you don't want, you want to get rid of and get your money back out of, you probably won't. Um, so, found a couple Hot Wheels cars. And uh, a Pro Z set. That's pretty cool. Some catalogs from Marklin. And then when we were at the Steam Town. Um, I found a black diamond to go with my black diamond locomotive. So I'll put that somewhere next to it and display it. Then at Horseshoe Curve, uh, I got this here. I, I like the stickers. I'll probably put it on my fridge or somewhere down in my train room. My, my outdoor fridge where we keep the adult beverages for when neighbors come by and hang out in a garage. Um, that's packed with stickers. Then... Um, I also found this at Steamtown, you know, something on the, uh, big boy. So that was really cool. Then the shirt I was wearing, the B&O EM1. Uh, then we got Kansas City Southern Weathered Inscale 3-pack from Pat's Trains. And I also ordered all 10 or 11, I can't even remember, Santa Fe plated cars, um, that were just announced by MTH. Some light bulbs for my terrace and my um, 
double station. Uh, for my Christmas display, I wanted to do like a frosted light instead of the white. Got Wes some batteries. I didn't get to stop by Wes's because we were stuck in four and a half hours sitting on the highway at a dead stop uh, on the way back because of a tractor trailer that jackknifed and spilled diesel fuel all over the highway. So Wes, I have your batteries here. Um, then underneath here, thank you Ben and thank you Raphael. Someone paid attention to my videos and they saw, well, Ben was selling these and Raphael and Jonathan tipped me off to these. Um, I said I needed nine or two zero nine two two one three for the other set of uh, six by six tank trucks. And they spotted it and they sent me a message and told me where to get it. And then thank you, Ben, for holding my stuff at your tables. While I was out searching for other stuff, he let me store my things. And then we have a Pennsylvania K4. Uh, you know I love the Premier Specialty sets. There's another K4 set there that I didn't get. It's a Proto 3 K4 um, with the gold wheels. And it comes with an express reefer and three cars. So I'm going to maybe try to hunt that guy down and see if he still has it. I, we did not have room to carry it back. And I should have just bought trash bags and wrapped some stuff up and threw it in bed of my truck um, and went ahead and got it. But it was down to the wire and we were leaving town. So it was Caddy Corner to Mr. Muffin's Trains. He also had a Virginia, uh, Virginian triplex for like $12.50 um, that I was really interested in. So if anyone knows who that guy was, put the comments in the video if you have his contact information. Cause I forgot to get it because we were in such a rush on our way out of town. Um, so this is the K4 uh, streamlined torpedo set. So that other one would be a great addition as well. Well, I think that's everything. I don't think I'm forgetting to thank anybody. Um, I think I, I've really enjoyed the experience. It's awesome being part of the train community and having made so many connections through the channel. And my, my collection has pretty much gotten downsized. Um, I still have some Lionel stuff I want to sell off um, that are just like roads that I'm not keeping. And, you know, some rolling stock. But that will be, you know, Christmas is coming. So for now, I'm going to focus on the Halloween video. Um, get back to working on my main layout and then start my Christmas layout build. So I hope you are enjoying the content of the channel. It's exciting to see what's been collected. I know in MTH chat, they had things going on what was bought at York and some of the other online, uh, Facebook groups. So thank you for checking out the video and until next time. I will talk to you later. See ya.